Today, who would have thought the talks between China and the Bahamas could impact all of us right here in South Florida? New at 530, those negotiations over fishing rights have recreational fishermen up in arms. News Channel 5's Wanda Moore live on the island of Palm Beach tonight to explain for us. Wanda? Well, the Chinese are waving $2 billion in front of the Bahamas to, in essence, open the floodgates to commercial fishing from China and in turn close the door on a way of life here in South Florida. It took many by surprise. Shock. Just absolute shock. It's just ridiculous. China is offering the Bahamas $2 billion over the next 10 years to split fishing rights. It's going to have a huge impact, an absolutely huge impact. Negative. There's no positive side to it whatsoever at all. NASA Guardian newspaper reports the government in the Bahamas has given the green light to pursue the partnership with China at least 10,000 acres to 100 different Chinese commercial fishing companies. And they won't only catch a few of the fish, they'll catch them all. Captain Mike Ganone, editor-in-chief of Florida Sport Fishing Journal, told me the fishing community in Florida is especially worried about overfishing by the Chinese. All of our fisheries are already under severe strain from commercial fishing pressure, as it is locally and abroad. Adding that now to the mix, commercial fishing by up to a hundred different enterprises in the Bahamas is just absolutely detrimental. According to the reported terms of the deal, Chinese companies would be able to sell those fish back to the U.S. Of course, that's certainly going to have an impact on the price. Captain Ganone says overfishing could mean that an already sensitive ecosystem could be pushed over the edge. The impacts are going to be felt for a very long time and across a very big area. Now, this deal is far from being final. Both governments are still debating, and local fishermen here are surely hoping it will never come to pass. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, one to more WPTV News Channel 5.